The Russian army still provides security for Transnistria and has a secret military base in the north of the country. The base is believed to contain an ammunition stockpile, which Western intelligence experts fear is already falling into the wrong hands and could reach terrorist groups. Obviously, we would have liked to get a little bit closer to this base, but the Russians said that we couldn't visit them. And every road we go down, trying to get closer, we find there's a, a military blockade. So we're going to have to creep through the bushes a little bit. And even then, we're going to be a fair old distance away. But it does feel a bit strange doing this, actually. I mean, 15 years ago, this was still part of the Soviet Union, and uh, we'd be Westerners creeping towards a secret military base. Now, if we get caught, we'll probably just be told off or arrested or held for a while. But then, we'd have probably been tried as spies. So the base, I think we can see the, we can see the outline of the, oh, there's a car going past. Oh God, a car just went past and saw us and slowed down just as I was going like that. Oh well. If we get caught, we get caught. I mean, we'll have to make up some story about making a film about the beautiful Transnistrian countryside, taking the country air, looking at the lovely trees, the secret Russian military base. Oh, is it really? Oh, I had no idea. A policeman and a soldier have turned up. Well, we might be arrested, we're not sure. We thought we were a fairly safe distance away from the Russian base. The policeman's taken our identification papers and our accreditation, passports, the lot. They were very, very fast. I mean, we're a good, oh, I don't know, mile, kilometer from the, from the base. The Transnistrian KGB soon turned up. We were detained as spies, questioned, and all our equipment was confiscated. Eventually, everything was returned to us, but we realized it was time to leave. <laughs> 